We'll begin our exploration of Mark of Chain Monte Carlo by visiting the Chocolate Hills on Bohol Island in the southern Philippines. Suppose I was an alien hovering over one of these hills, and I wanted to find out how high and why the hill is. My monitor registers this top aerial view of the hill, but I cannot see the color yellow. I can, however, see the color blue. Because the Earth's atmosphere is poisonous to me, I drop a robot that leaves a blue trail wherever it walks. I give the robot three commands. First, the robot must walk around randomly. Second, it must try to walk uphill most of the time. Third, for every 10 steps it walks uphill when it can, it must go downhill three times. As you can see, by following the robot's blue trail, I can estimate the top of the hill because this is where the robot spends most of its time. But because it sometimes goes downhill, I also have some idea of how widely the hill slopes. By occasionally going downhill, the robot can also find other hills in the vicinity. Let the hill represent this joint pro probability distribution which is nothing more than the distribution of two variables taken together. One of these variables is the data, which is known. The other is the distribution of parameter values for an assumed Gaussian distribution, which MCMC is trying to estimate. Like the alien robot, MCMC takes a random walk through the data. As it does so, it makes guesses at the parameter value of the distribution's mean in this example. Like the robot, MCMC spends most of its time at the joint space where the counts of a data value are highest and where, as a consequence, the value of the mean is most likely. After walking through each observation and repeating this random walk as much as 10,000 times or more, it finally comes up with the joint distribution of parameter and data, which approximates the posterior value of the parameter given the data, which is what we, as Bayesian data detectives, are trying to figure out.